We are at Class Division India 2023, and now we are in conversation with Mr. Saugata Chaudhary, Head of Petrochemicals, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. So, thank you so much for your time, and welcome to Polymer Update. Let's get started our conversation. Can you tell me more about your company and the products or services you offer in the petrochemical industry? Well, HPCL is one of the largest uh, oil majors in India, and we are the Maharatna company. Uh, we have been into uh, oil refining uh, uh, business, uh, having refining uh, capacity of uh, Mumbai refinery and Vizag refinery. Now HPCL is into uh, transitions mode uh, from the typical refinery companies to the energy company. And in this journey, we are uh, venturing into petrochemical business by investing uh, 2.4 million tons from 9 million tons oil refinery uh, company in uh, Barmer, Rajasthan. So, where we are going to produce around uh, 2 million tons of polymers and uh, half a million tons of uh, um, aromatics. So, it is likely to be operational by next uh, year, around 12-13 uh, uh, months down the line. And with that uh, capacity, we will be a formidable player in the Indian market in petrochemicals. So, that's uh, all a brief from uh, HPCL point of view. Wonderful, sir. Can you also tell us what sets HPCL apart from your competitors? Well, uh, uh, what we believe is that uh, today the customers or market needs a lot of uh, uh, solutions rather than some products. So the, our endeavor would be definitely will be uh, uh, polymer suppliers, but along with that will be the solution suppliers also. And also we believe is that we need to really. Uh, uh, establish the customer experience along with the customer services if our customers really are satisfied with their solutions then definitely it will be a dividend for customer i mean for hp sales and i believe that's the best way to do and we would definitely be little uh, 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 you know doing differently from the competitions that's what our belief is that's amazing sir let's also talk about your future plans particularly for the indian market well, as I mentioned that, you know, uh, uh, HPCL is now looking into uh, uh, becoming uh, energy companies. Uh, we are coming in various ways. For example, petrochemicals is one of the uh, uh, way to capture the carbon. And uh, we are also venturing into various uh, innovations. For example, hydrogen technology, uh, solar technology and other renewable energies. We are also uh, venturing into uh, green energy in terms of you know, batteries and you know battery swap and electrical charges because we are having also taking some initiatives in the you know using the renewable energy in our retail outlets so we have you know uh, more than 20000 of retail outlets where i would say 50% has been replaced by the solar energy so we are into these uh, you know uh, renewable energies and green energies and obviously from petrochemicals point of view we would like to convert our crude oil to the maximum possible way to chemicals and the petrochemicals. That's what we are going to do in the next 10 to 15 years time. Can you share your expectations from petrochemical market? Well, uh, yes, petrochemicals, as you know, uh, uh, it's a wide gamut of the products, but polymers is a major product from petrochemicals. And polymers, of course, for some of the other, the so there is little bit of concerns about that, you know, environmental issues are there. I believe, and I strongly believe is that if the uh, companies like you know uh, polymer converters play a little more responsible uh, way so then definitely uh, the, the the business will grow in sustainable manner i expect that indian converters or indian petrochemical industry should be uh, looking into the more sustainable way in terms of recycling in terms of reusables and all in terms of you know uh, circularity going to the circularity and all these uh, uh, stakeholders should come together for example may it be converters may it be brand owners may it be uh, FMCG companies, now OEMs and all. So everybody comes together and you know, then we can join hands and we can create a better uh, futures by using these you know, uh, wonderful polymers, uh, wonderful products that, that's called polymers. So that's what. Thank you so much, sir. That was a lovely conversation we had. And uh, thank you so much for speaking to Polymer Update. Pleasure. Thank you very much, uh, Polymer Update, for uh, taking the interview. Wish you all the best. Thank, thank you. you.